right, a demonstration of the output of the high voltage transformer. Right here we have a screwdriver stuck into one of the banana jacks. This um, metal block has, shares a common ground with the AC mains, which is drive through the plug. You can also attach a secondary ground to this top screw terminal. A ground wire has been run to the end of this uh, ring terminal, and this will now be uh, tested with high voltage. So releasing the e-stop, and turning on the variac. That beeping is just a uninterruptible power supply uh, for the computer, so ignore that beeping. Right, increasing the voltage. This is around 50% of the output voltage. You can see it'll start to draw an arc. Increasing to around a hundred percent. Drawing around 1.5 inches. 120 volts. Closer to 2 inches. Shutting it down. Alright, now removing the ballast for a demonstration. So the ballast can be removed by simply removing these terminal blocks and connecting the output of the Variac directly to the transformer. This one's actually a little sticky. And care should be taken um, when running without the ballast because uh, primary current will increase very rapidly. This is at around uh, 20 volts in the output. You can see how now without the primary ballast it will in fact sustain a plasma arc instead of breaking between cycles. Taking it up to around 40 volts on the input. Fifty volts. At around a hundred um, percent of the input voltage, around 120 volts AC on the primary, these uh, streamers can reach up to around uh, a foot long. Uh, this will not be demonstrated because I do not have the breaker capacity on this uh, transformer right now, so it would trip the breaker. But there are certainly uh, pictures of that on the website showing these arcs. One final note is that although this transformer does not have any capacitive energy storage in there, uh, the oil itself and the rectifier strings do, will have some capacitance to ground, so there will be some residual charge in the output, so it's always very important to ground the output before touching anything. So you can see there's a slight spark there. And of course, shut down power in multiple sources before touching or modifying anything.